In July 2023, an expression of interest was issued by DIDO under Technology Development Fund that is TDF scheme to build and manufacture a submarine launched unmanned aerial system also called SLUS. The SLUS is planned for production to meet the tactical requirements of submarines by aiding in intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance that is ISR and augmenting the maritime domain awareness that is MDA. The TDF scheme as we all know is a program of Ministry of Defense executed by DRDO to meet the requirements of tri services, defense production and DRDO. Under this program, the funding will be provided by provision of grants in aid to the industry. The project cost is up to rupees 10 crore and will be considered for funding subject to a maximum of 90% of the total project cost. Now talking about the specification of SLUAS, as per DIDO's expression of interest, it must be deployable from a standard NATO operated torpedo tube to a depth of 50 meters and it must be directed from submarine via a data link within the line of sight. The SLUS is expected to be recoverable, that is, either on board a consort platform using one point recovery system or by means of a flotation bag at the end of the mission. The platform's major function would be day and night intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, maritime domain awareness augmentation, real time target tracking, and beach reconnaissance prior to special operations. Its secondary functions would include assistance in battle damage assessment. The underwater setup of SLUS will feature a ruggedized storage box with charging mechanism and an additional set of batteries. The drone's payload will be an electro-optical infrared camera placed in a canister. Now this unmanned vehicle is also being called as ULUAV. That is underwater launched unmanned aerial vehicle. On 12th June 2024, the Times of India has reported that Mumbai-based Sagar Defence Engineering has won the contract from DRD for developing the UL UAV under TDF scheme after selecting it out of the 17 firms through a competitive bidding process. The DRDO's lab, DRDL, will assist Sagar Defence in developing the UL UAV technology. Mridul Babbar, who is Director and Vice President of Business Development of Saga Defence, has told Times of India that UL UAV will have a range of 7 km and endurance of 30 minutes. However, DRDO has asked to develop a UL UAV with a range of 20 km and endurance of more than an hour. While the primary role of UL UAV is ISR, it can also be weaponized in the future. Now talking about Sagar Defense, it has a good experience in developing the unmanned vehicles for maritime use. In October 2023, the Indian Navy has placed order for 12 weaponized autonomous swarm boats and 30 autonomous underwater swarm vessels that is AUVs with Sagar Defense and Engineering. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.